Greetings, everybody. How are you today? Everybody, everybody, hey, hey, hey. Boom, 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 boom. What? What's going on here? Let me know when you can see and hear me. Hello? Hello? Is it working? It said I was live. What's going on here? Internets? Internets, internets, internets are going. When you're in the room, kindly say uh, greetings and salutations. This thing is saying I'm live. But let's see what's really good. Hey, it's working now. Dad gummit. Yeah, I said dad gummit. I try not to curse on this show. Boom, boop, ba doom. Everybody knows about Friday. Whoops, zoomed in on the wrong thing. Bum, bum, ba, bum. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Wow, this thing's got a slight delay. Let me know when you're here. Give a shout out so I can hear your lovely voices. And I'm probably seeing only my chest. Booka, 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 boo. See how that looks. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right, real quick, you can guys get in. Got some announcements to make to y'all. Ah, go down. Come. Bink, why is that not doing what I want it to do? Zoom out. All right, well. I guess I'll be doing my show alone today. Uh, real quick, everybody. We are uh, here in the war room here at HQ. And Ace, how are you? Good to see you, good to see you. I got a new friend with me on my forehead. I named him Josh. So this is my co-host, Josh. He doesn't talk much because nothing but crap comes out of his mouth. Ha 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 ha! Justice for Jeff! Welcome, Miguel. Welcome, Miguel. So let me know. Miguel, how are you doing? Ace, how are you guys? I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. It's Wednesday. It means this work week is almost over. Justice for all. Thank you. Yes, that is very true. So real quick, um, I just want to make an announcement that on Friday... The last 13 we have of this lovely statue will be going live 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time this Friday. So if you um, weren't able to get one of these, well, we're throwing up 13 of them. Um, the last ones we have. So uh, it can go nice in your collection, in your uh, favorite display case or shelf or wherever. It's a real beautiful piece. So if you missed out, 13 will be going on sale this Friday, 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, which is 8 a.m. Pacific, which would be 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yes. Milagro, what's up, man? How are you? You got your statue? Yeah, I saw that post. Thank you. Guys, real quick, I'm really appreciating um, all you guys posting all your uh, uh, stuff you've been getting from the catacombs and stuff you've been getting for Kickstarter. Keep them coming. Also, we had a new tutorial from uh, and Mr. Hart. Please, please, I want everyone around the world that are part of the Swore Nation, I want to see your testimonials. What does Coffin Comics mean to you? What does the Swore Nation, what do the fiends, what does our community mean to you? I want to see it. So make us a little video, put it up on the Swarm Nation so we can uh, share it with the world. Uh, we'll be taking those and adding them into little segments for the shows we do on Monday on YouTube. Um, that's the CCSN show every Monday at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. You can go ahead and uh, check some of the cool videos we're uploading on there. So check out the YouTube channel Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. We want to see your videos. We want to see the testimonials. I mean, Jay did one. Eric did one. I want more. I want more. Come on, don't be shy. Get yourself up there on the Swore Nation. Be proud of who you are and 
what you represent and who you love, which is Lady Death, whether it be La Muerta, whether it be Hellwitch, whether it be Zack. Tell us what Coffin Comics means to you. We'll share it with the world. And I know we've got people all around the world because I used to pick the order, so we've definitely got a heck of a great group of folks just covering this globe. So real quick, I'm good. We miss you too, man. Just think. Sworn Fest, February 2022. It's a step closer. I think now we got, what, 10 months? 11, 10 months to go. And Mesa, Arizona is going to explode because the Sworn will be there and the fiends alike. And we're just going to take over this town and we're going to rock it to the ground because that's what you guys do. So greetings and salutations. Jeffrey Walsh, welcome to the show. Proud to salute you. So real quick, Friday, the last 13 statues we have will go on sale on the store. Let me move my lovely lady over here so she doesn't get knocked over because you all know I'm a bit of a klutz. So real quick, I want to say this May, and we are a month away from the next La Muerta Kickstarter onslaught, the next chapter in the Death Apocalypse event that we got going here at Coffin Comics in the Coffin Verse. Here's some uh, samples of the art by Diego Bernard. I can say my stuff is printed in black and white. Sorry, it ain't even fancy color. Got to save those ink for orders and whatnot. Beautiful piece, man. I love this image of her just falling and blasting away all the monsters and demons. Beautiful, beautiful. So if you guys want to see what this looks like in color, sign up for our VIP newsletter. It should be fun. I've uh, been seeing it through my own. Oh, it's Wednesday. So just click on the link I got off to the side down below or the side or over here. It's somewhere in this area. Click on that link and sign up for the VIP newsletter so you are in the know all the time. A couple other things I want to announce. Um, real quick, um, here's the little write-up we did for the um, next La Muerta chapter. If you want need a little peace and quiet, it's combat veteran Maria Diaz, a.k.a. La Muerta, the avenging angel of the streets. It's too bad a gang of murderous psychos have other plans for her. Invading the secret lair of Loco, uh, Maria's luchador ally, the killers seek bloody payback for their fallen brother's savage violence that erupts is only a hint of the brutality to come. Stay tuned, guys. That is for the next chapter of La Muerta, my favorite comic book character here at Coffin Comics. Lover, lover, lover. Also, thank you everyone who um, joined us in for the artist celebration with uh, David Harrigan. Um, I think we sold out of everything, so thank you very much. As I announced earlier today, Lady Death Seductress statues will drop this Friday, 9 a.m., so don't miss out. I know there's some people that weren't able to get their hands on one because things are tight, but we've got 13 of them popping up. Let's see, right now for the Lady Death Cataclysmic Majesty Kickstarter update, all the free bonus items are arriving here at HQ. They dropped off at least 10 boxes, so we are getting all that stuff uh, checked off our list, make sure everything gets here on time, and we start building, we start growing. That Kickstarter was huge, so we're already working on it. Okay, guys, I have some very cool stuff today at the on the catacombs. Well, hopefully, um, hopefully, um, <laughs> hopefully, we do not have the weird weather we had for Fiend Fest because it was really cold and it poured all weekend. So yes, it was really dark. We had a lot of dark clouds. It also rained a lot. Uh, a lot of people were like, I expected it to be sunnier here in Arizona. It's like, well, that was the year we decided to have lots of storms and lots of wet weather, which was very odd for us. So uh, hopefully it don't rain. But yes, it will be dark. Mesa, Arizona will be changed forever when we get done with that weekend. Don't you know it? Let's see what some fun stuff I have for you on the camp calls. All right, let me just set that there so I can see stuff. First up, I have Lady Death Echoes, New Year's Eve edition, and it is a mock-up, and Brian has signed it. This is already signed by Mr. Brian Polito. Oops, let me go on that side since the light's right there. So I have one of those available for you today. Let me set that right there. 
Set that right there. What else you? Eric Hart, how the heck are you? How are you doing? How are you doing? I know that, dude, the statue is gorgeous. It's, it's like um, bringing it uh, out of Jimmy's office uh, where we filmed the YouTube show. I was like walking really slow because I know it's put together right, but I, I'm a klutz and I hate to see something happen to this beautiful piece. So thank goodness I didn't do anything uh, silly like trip and fall because, you know, I'm a klutz. What can I say? Next up, I have one of these, Lady Death Mischief Knight. Chase Edition Blue. It is a publisher file. Got one available for you today. Bingo. Bingo was its name. Okay. And just in time for Easter, I found some really fun things. Also, David Harrigan. So I thought I would bring them out since um, it's Easter. Why not start things right with Lady Death Dreams. Bunny Edition. This is vault number four. Number four out of 175 were originally printed. So this is the number four edition. But wait, that's not all that I have from the vault. I also have the number six edition, just in time for Easter. I can't believe we're already at that point this year. It's, just, it's flying by. Can't wait, next year. Next year is the year. It's far past. But you know what? I figured, what else do I have for these Easter editions? Well, I found nine copies left of Dreams. So if you don't want the Vault editions, I also have the last nine copies of this edition. Wonderful Easter print by Mr. David Harrigan. Go over this side so you can catch the light. So I have nine of these available. I have two Vault editions available, number four and six. That looks pretty picture right there. But wait, I found one, only one, of the Naughty Bunny edition. This is all I found. There's nothing in the vault. I think uh, we did a vault sale a couple years ago, and those scooped up. So this is it. Last one. If you're a big David Harrigan fan and you want a little Easter gift for yourself, well, there they are at bar. Bingo was his name. Oh, okay. Next up, another two set. One is signed, one is not. Dan Mendoza is the creator. This is the Lady Death Dreams Black Magic. It's a two book set. Matching serial numbers. I have two sets left. One is signed, one is unsigned. Of course it would be unsigned if the other one was signed. Ha ha ha! I'm ridiculous. Statue. Oh, so that one will be announcing later. That's coming later. No, 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 you worry, not Eric. Um, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> Don't worry. I, 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 I've been waiting for it too because, um, yeah, we have uh, been sitting on the, um, I guess, mock heads or the uh, prototypes for a while, and um, it's coming this year. Don't worry, Eric. You signed up for the VIP newsletter. I almost fumbled that. So you know you're in the know, bro. Yes, you are. You're always on top of your game. By the way, Eric, how is everyone in your neck of the woods? I hope everyone's doing fine, too. It's going to be a beautiful weekend, I have a feeling. Next up, I have the last two copies of Lady Death. This is the Death Surfer Homage Edition. Get them while I got it. I only have two if you missed out. Stephen Butler and Dan Feldmeyer. So I have two left. That's all she wrote. I only have two. <laughs> um, the This one over here, Miguel, is this the one you're looking at? I thought you already had one of those. Oh, the, the Ortiz one? Yeah. Um, yeah, those, those have been a constant reminder of just teasing everyone with because it's so amazing. All right, next up, I have the last two copies of the Consummation Edition. Last two, if you missed out, well, there's a chance. We got two left. Two left that are not a vault or an AP or a BP. 
Jay Taylor, how are you? Hope work is going well. All right, now for the section of the show where we like to say, the book was so nice, Brian had to sign it twice, and I got a couple here for you today. Oh, let me uh, unclick my pen, take a drink of water, because I am dying of thirst. Also, folks, let me know, what, what are you having for lunch today? Gus, you are so welcome. Thank you for joining us today. All right, for the book, so nice, Brian had to set them twice. I have a copy of Sworn Number One. Boom. Book, so nice, Brian signed it twice. Get it today. Dose, dose, dose. Here's another one Lady Death, Oblivion Kiss. This is the Comic Shop Market Edition standard cover. Again, book, so nice, Brian had to set it twice. Beautiful cover by Mr. Chrome. Beautiful piece. Love it. Love it. And another comic shop market that Brian really loved the cover and he just couldn't resist signing it another time. This is the Lady Death Unholy Ruin 2 Standard Edition. Sign it up top in copper and down along the sword, which I love how he gets really creative with the signatures. Um, sometimes you'll see Brian coming in and he'll just stand over all the tables and there's a lot of tables for him to sign stuff. And he just kind of looks, and there's certain ones where he's like, oh, I think I gotta do this. Oh, I think I gotta do that. So, he's always having fun signing books. Ooh, what do we have? Dude, yes, bring the chocolate-covered bacon. I've been dreaming about it since you announced it. Dude, I had tacos for dinner last night. Good choice. Smoothie for lunch. All right, I want some. Oh, dude. Doesn't matter what bacon, Eric. It's just bacon in general. But thick cut bacon? Yes, please. Yes, please. Next up, I have Blasphemy Anthem 2. This is the sultry one. And again, Brian signed it twice because he liked it so much. Bam. Double signature for you. I also got something really fun and cool. I'm sure by the time I, I present it, it already gone. And I think this is a really great image. This is the um, selfie edition, Malevolent Decimation number one. It's double signed by Brian. I really love this image. It's so adorable. Um, I never thought I would see uh, a lady death taking a selfie. So I think that's really creative and I think it's beautiful. All right, next up I have for you Malevolent Decimation number one. Premium foil, book so nice, Brian signed it twice. Another double signature. This turned out really amazing. I don't know if the, yeah, it kind of catches the reflection, but this is a really nice premium foil edition um, that you can pick up either here at the Coffin Comic Shop, just click on the link, or request it at your local comic book store. Say, I want Coffin Comics in my shop. We'll take care of them. Next up, I was really happy to find three of these. This is Lady Death Reckoning, number one. This is the homage edition, all done by Dan Mendoza. Includes the gold, the silver, or classic, and then there is the silver. So three book set. These are my last three I have available. Yep, I do have three. And here we go. Next up. Got a scratch and dent, because I know a lot of you folks have been scooping up my scratch and dents. We have the Malevolent Decimation Metallic Jeweled Edition, signed by Brian. There is the damage down below. Uh, on the listing, we do show a picture. Um, I always get a picture, uh, picture request for the damages from uh, Napalm Nick, so he can uh, show you guys the damage. Um, so you can see what you're getting. Next up, another book so nice, Brian signed it twice. This is Zach, the exton uh, the zombie exterminator, the exterminator. Okay, Zach the zombie exterminator. This is the terror edition. Also has a signature of Mike McLean down below too. So you got both creative minds at Coffin Comics and Brian had to do a double signature. Bam, got to see your ways. And probably one of the funnest things. Oh, cool, Eric. I'm glad you could. I know um, 
uh, I've been seeing it. I wasn't sure if I should destroy them all or present them on the show. It, it was about a, a year of me, him, and Han uh, before I put them up there. And um, I'm glad you guys are liking them. Um, I'm glad I decided to put them up there instead of destroy them. You know, like I said, it's a really beautiful image, and I would hate to have to destroy something. So I figured I'd give it a shot, and I'm glad you guys liked it. Um, for those who've been picking up, thank you very much. Um, they say, uh, I wish I could uh, get you some of them in perfect condition, but sometimes some of the boxes we get. Um, huh. Oh, hey. So my, I just got a wonderful message from my stepfather. He just sent me the poster for uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, which I'm going to be watching today as soon as I get home. So I'm hoping today flies by. I'm going to grab me a couple beers, and I'm going to eat the amazing meal I'm sure my wife is going to make. And I'm just going to sit on my butt and watch two of my favorite monsters duke it out. I wish my biggest dream... For this MonsterVerse, I would love it if they could throw Gamera in the mix. So I freaking love Gamera. Gra Gamera, if you don't know, is a kaiju from Japan that is a turtle that flies, and he's the friends of all children. So it's freaking awesome. If you haven't seen a Gamera movie, they are crazy weird. The old ones are crazy gory. The ones they did in the 90s blew away the whole Godzilla 90s series. I, I'm sorry to say, but... They were phenomenal films, so if you haven't checked them out, I recommend the Gamera Trilogy they did in the 90s. Phenomenal filmmaking, and the last one they did was uh, 2006 with Gamera the Brave, which is a really cool family movie with giant monsters. That has my endorsement. So next up, this is really cool. I've been sitting on this for about a year, not sure what to do with it. So I present to you today, guys, Chaos Comics Magnet Set Number Two. Inside this is a magnet set that consists of Purgatory, Chastity, and Lady Death herself. And this one is signed by Brian. Already preloaded with a COA. This is the only one I have. I wish I could find more of these. I'm hoping I could find more of these because this this made my jaw drop because I haven't seen the, uh, a set of these since. Uh, late 90s, um, back in my Atana Comic days. So, yeah, I was really happy hitting and hawing on what to do with it. So, I said, you know what, I'll just bring it on to the Wednesday show for you, all you people. So, whoever picked that up, you are a very, very lucky collector because I wish I had more of these. I'm, I still got my fingers crossed that I'll get some more boxes from Brian and find some more really just. Very cool, classic, old school um, Chaos Comics magnet sets. I hope I can get some more. So whoever got it, do a shout out. See, you shouldn't take it too seriously, man. It's it's giant monsters blowing things up and beating the crap out of each other. It's WWF on crack, steroids, and everything else. They just make him Titanic. So yeah, I totally am having fun. I mean. I've watched every Godzilla movie. I own every Godzilla. Any kaiju movie that's out there, I try to seek it out and get a copy. Um, haven't been able to do that in a few years, but, you know, I'm seeing them releasing all this great stuff that I've always wanted to see, and now it's coming out, and I am happy. The fanboy in me is screaming. Anybody got any questions for me today? We got about six minutes. Six minutes left for the day. Um, so... For your tutorials, please put them on the Sword Nation, and uh, we will be grabbing them. And I gotta say, so far I got two beautiful ones from uh, Mr. Hart and from Mr. Taylor. So join the club, man. We want to know. I want to hear from folks like I don't know, Miguel. Where are you? Where's your video? What's up with that? You keep screaming justice for Jeff. What about justice for Miguel? You know what? Yeah, I want to see you guys post in your videos. Show us. What we mean to you? What does the community mean to you? Because I've seen some really beautiful messages, um, announcements. Um, um, I, I got approved for a house. <laughs> so my family and I are looking for a new home. First time. I'm shot, Miguel. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding. Me. You created a movement with Justin. You can't be shy. You can't be shy. Maybe have a kid do it. 
cosplaying as one of our characters. Ooh, I'd like to see some of that. So I want to see from you folks. I want to see these videos. I want Sworn Nation blown up with all the testimonials. What do we mean? What do the characters? What's your favorite thing you collect? What is it all about that makes Coffin Comics just make you be like, yeah, there is no one else? Because I love what uh, he said. Hey, yo, congratulations, bro. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, congratulations, wow. Oh, yeah. Um, thank you, dude. Um, really excited. I've never done this before. Um, tried it 20 some odd years ago, and it just didn't seem right. Uh, it was a good thing because the market crashed, and it was bad. Um, but anyways, um, yeah. God, you, you're laughing with the rolly smiley faces, but I want to see a video of you. I want to see you. You know what I'm gonna do? I got a couple minutes. Oh, let me let me see. Let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw someone online, real quick, cause I got a few minutes left. You know what? Let's put. Oh, he. They're blocking me. Oh no! You know what? Heck yeah! Happy Godzilla Day. You know what? I'm gonna put Miguel on. Uh, yeah, Miguel, you're getting online with me right now. My last few. I want you to personally tell me. What is it about Cop and Cons? What does the community mean to you? Because you're old school, brother. You're going to let me add you? You're going to be scared? Come on now. Don't be shy. I know you're shy, but come on. Come on, Miguel. Oh, oh he's probably at work. I forget. It's noontime. All right, Miguel. I'll catch you next time then. All right? All right. I see. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Who do we got? Let's, I got a few more minutes. Oh, you're driving. Oh, <laughs> That would be a hell of a testimonial as you ran into the car in front of you. Yeah, let's not uh, do the texting or video driving. Sorry, Miguel, but thank you for letting me know. You know what? I'm going to throw you on, Ace, if you're able to. Give me a hell yeah, and I'll put you on for the last couple minutes. And uh, Are you able to do it, Ace, or are you at work? Let me know. Because I don't want any of y'all to get in trouble. Oh, I guess Ace is at work, too. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess I won't be bringing on because I don't want anyone to get in trouble at work. That would just, um, that would just be great. Anyways, guys, remember Friday, 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, the last 13 that we are able to find here will go on sale Friday at 9 a.m. If you missed out on this lovely piece of work designed after the artwork of Eric Basaluda, don't delay. Get them today. There will be 13 made available on the store Friday, 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Be there. If you know someone who missed out and is really interested, heck, man, send them our way. Send them our way. We'll get this all taken care of you. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Ah, Ace, dang it. I just saw your message. I'll throw you on in the, next week. Let's see. Uh, I don't know yet. We haven't listed that yet. But I'm sure we'll announce it. Uh, let me see if it's in the write-up. Probably not. You're doing like three, three fifty, three fifty. Uh, it'll be up there. But this is it. Um, this will be the last two eighty. No. No. Wow, that's weird how you do that, Ace. That that really threw me off. Wow, messed up my eyes. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. I will see you guys on Monday, CCSN. Jimmy and I will be in our little studio pumping out some fun times for you. And uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Everyone take care of each other. Everyone, you know, virtual hugs to you all. I'm sworn to you. I'm Julian the Hooligan. Have a beautiful day, guys. And um, I can't wait to we are all together. Sworn Fest, it's closer than you think. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a magnificent day. Hugs to your faces, as Brandy says. Woo-hoo!